And we're joined now by the McSweeney's WHL Player of the Month for the month of March. He is Ben King of the Red Deer Rebels. Ben, first of all, congratulations. Uh, tell me a little bit about the month. 23 points for you as the Red Deer Rebels, uh, you know, clinched a playoff berth over the past 31 days. And we're looking ahead, I'm sure, to what's hopefully a long postseason run for you guys. But if you would, just take me back uh, through the past 31 days and and uh, give me a sense of, of what things have been like for you and, and, and uh, you know, how you've enjoyed uh, your success on the score sheet. Yeah, no, thanks a lot, first of all. And I think the past month, I think as a team, we, we had a really good month and we're happy as a group in there. And then for me, it was just kind of doing my job to pitch in and kind of help the team win. And I, I had a pretty good success there this last month. So it's, it was exciting and kind of honored to receive this award. So it was, not, it was a really good month all around. We've been following you all season, Ben. 47 goals leads the league. 21 power play goals leads the league. 14 game winning goals leads the league. But of your 23 points last month, 17 were assists. Is that just kind of how things shake out every now and then? Or, or have you been uh, trying to maybe adopt a bit more of a setup man approach in uh, in your game over the past few weeks? Yeah, no, I think I just stuck with my game last month. And I think just the, the bounces weren't there for the goals. And I just started finding players and my line mates were putting the puck in the back of the net. So I think that's just how it how it ended up being. But it's just happy to kind of get those points. And I got to give a lot of credits to my line mates, uh, Baines and Larson, for putting the puck in the net and then ultimately finding me all year and helping me out as a player. So it's been nice. Let's talk about your goal scoring, though. 47 goals. Uh, you know, you're you're on the cusp of 50. Is that a number that you kind of think about and be like, oh, that'd be kind of cool to reach uh, as far as a personal milestone? Or, or is it just another number for you? No, I think obviously 50 is kind of one of those big numbers that you want to you want to get to, especially when you're this close. So I've definitely looked at it, but try not to focus on it too much because I don't want to kind of jinx myself there. So I just kind of keep playing. And, you know, if I hit it, I do. If not, oh, well, I've, I'm happy where I am right now. So you and your teammate Connor Unger started the year by going to the Calgary Flames training camp. Tell me a little bit about that experience and and maybe did it kind of kickstart your season? Yeah, no, that was a great experience, I think, for the both of us, just being being able to get invited there and kind of see how the pros approach every day and kind of how they are on the ice. And I think it for sure did kickstart kick my game, my season for the start of the year, just kind of going there and, you know, doing the camp, doing the rookie camp, playing with some of the AHL guys, some of the top draft picks and just seeing how they, how they play, how hard they play and kind of the little details. So I think it was a good start for me in the year just to get my foot on the right track and kind of come to Red Deer and have some confidence and begin the season good. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about your chemistry with Arch Deep Baines. You guys have been the dynamic duo in the Western Hockey League this year from a point production perspective. What's worked for you guys? And, and is it just maybe even a case of having that familiarity, having played alongside him for the last couple of years? Yeah, I think that's that's the huge, huge thing in that is just the chemistry, I think, between us two. We've been together for three years now, and I think – when you're with a player for that long, especially a player, player like him, he's he's unreal. He just does some things that not many players can do in this league. And I think he's a special player. So being able to play with him and just the way he moves the puck, he really helps me out. And I think together we're a good duo with that passing shooting combination. So he's been he's been great all year too. And I think for me, it's just kind of following and keeping up with him and kind of playing with him. So it's been it's been unreal. You guys have been one of the stories around the league as far as you know turnaround from the hub season to this season what has the addition of Steve Konowalczyk behind the bench meant to your career he's been great for us I think he he really pushes us and he kind of knows knows how we need to play and what it takes to get to the next level <clears throat> so he's been he's been great for us and I think he's been great for the whole team too as you look at our kind of record this year we've been a top team in the past we've been not so good so I think just him being behind the bench he really knows how to roll the lines and really knows how to win games and ultimately he's just a hockey guy. So he, he's been good for us and good for the whole team. And we've been excited to have him find the bench. Looking from afar, it does seem as though you guys have maybe gotten a renewed commitment to defensive structure. Maybe renewed is maybe a tough way to say that, but you know, you guys don't allow a lot of goals. Uh, what, what has, um, you know, Steve and, and the coaching staff kind of preached to you guys as far as responsibilities are concerned. Yeah, no, we take pride in that. I think, Biggest thing is just commitment and just blocking shots and coming back to the house and no, not allowing turnovers, getting pucks deep and getting on the four check. So I think we've been we've been really good up until this point. We just want to kind of keep that going and play as a team and good things will happen. 
few weeks out from the start of the WHL postseason. Of course, you guys have punched your ticket to the playoffs. Uh, give me a sense of what the excitement level is like in that dressing room once mid-April rolls around. Yeah, no, we're excited. I mean, me and a lot of other guys have never really played a playoff game. So I think this year it's it's really exciting for a lot of a lot of our group just to kind of get in that first round and we punched the ticket. So it was, it was exciting there. So I think we're just excited to kind of finish off the season and then get into playoffs. And I think we're we're an excited group and we got we got good things going for us. So we're we're happy. Are you starting to see kind of the momentum building around town too? I mean, it's it's been a long time since people have gotten to enjoy playoff hockey in the Western League. How's the how's the city been and, and how excited are, are Rebels fans for what you guys are putting on the table right now? Oh yeah, the fans, the fans are great here. I think once the kind of the protocols all lifted, it, it's been a packed bar. And so it's been good to see the fans and it's been a loud building. I think it's just got better and better as the year went on. So I think they're all excited for the playoffs and it should be a good postseason for them.